23-year-old mother of two is dead after being shot by her own brother on Christmas Eve. Abriel Baldwin was trying to break up an argument between her siblings when one of them pulled out a gun. So drivers, welcome back to the channel. You you guys know I come with some interesting stories. Christmas stories, tragic Christmas stories involving two brothers and a sister this past Christmas. Unfortunately, this story is a sad one. It comes out of Florida. Florida teens kills sister during a fight over some Christmas gifts. Like, it's tagged that one of these kids, a 15 and a 14 year old, the 14 year old is jealous over the amount of gifts that the 15 year old was getting. Now here's the catch to all of this. Both of those teens, the 15 year old and the 14 year old brothers, both have guns. Guns, both of them. They both have guns. Oh, How sway? Well, in the story that we about to get to, the, the sheriff's department said that they have a big problem with guns and gun violence and how easy it is for these kids to get these guns. A Christmas Eve argument between brothers over who was getting more gifts ended in tragedy down in Florida. A 14 year old boy shot and killed his sister who tried her best to defuse the fight. And when the 14 year old shot and killed his sister, the 15 year old shot the 14 year old. The brothers, of course, a year apart, one is 15 and the other one's 14, were Christmas shopping on Sunday with their mother and sister. The sister's name was Abriella. 23 and her two sons she has kids so the brother the 14 year old shot and killed the sister in front of her kids they had this family spat on who was getting what and how much money was being spent on who are you serious you can't be serious the argument continued as the family made their way from the store to their grandma's house. This sounds like a Hallmark story. They they went to the store, they went to buy Christmas gifts, and then from there they went over to grandma's house. It should have been that story. Should have been went over to grandma's house to spend Christmas with grandma, share gifts amongst the family. Not end in an argument that went from the store to the grandma's house to where the young lady got shot and killed. The brothers both were in possession of a gun. Both of them, both of them had guns. They both had guns. 14 and 15 now, this is not a 18 and 20. This is a 14 and 15 year old kids that had guns. Not a cap gun, not an airsoft gun, not a BB gun, a gun, a deadly weapon. They get to their grandmother's house and the 14-year-old thought it was a good idea to take out his gun and tells his brother that he's going to shoot him in the head. The older brother said he didn't want to fight and asked his younger sibling to get out of the house. Like, bro, man, I don't want to fight. I don't want to go through all of this, man. Come on now. It ain't that serious. Go on here. Go outside. Get a breather. And let's get back together and have some of this sweet old grandma apple pie. No, no. The younger brother felt that he was being overshadowed because the older brother was getting, what, an Xbox? And, and, and he got a, a Nintendo system? Are you, you can't be serious right now. The sister that tried to defuse the situation came into play and she said, y'all need to leave this stuff alone. 
Y'all need to go outside, get get some air, something. This is in front of grandma? The 14-year-old, after allegedly threatening to shoot his sister and her baby, is accused of shooting Baldwin in the chest while holding her son at about 1.45 p.m. This dude threatened his own sister and baby whatever it would if that was his nephew or niece the 14 year old threatened her i'm about to shoot you and my 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 niece or nephew bro what she fell to the ground and she was later pronounced dead at the hospital luckily her baby wasn't injured seconds after the shooting the 15 year old pulled out his gun his own gun and shot the 14 year old for shooting his sister tragically all the way around he shot the one brother in the stomach crazy right but the brother that was shot in the stomach was taken to the hospital and he's gonna be okay the 15 year old then fled tossing his gun into a nearby yard which is gonna be a problem now because the police can't find it and somebody else just might find it and just say, hey, hmm, I found me a gun. I'm going to keep this and probably might use that in in a future crime. Both teams were arrested while the one was arrested at his relatives and the other one was arrested at the hospital. One of the guns was recovered. I'm, I'm assuming the 14 year old. OK, but of course, Florida authorities expressing concerns that the missing gun would eventually be picked up like i said and used in another crime the authorities say that the problem is we got way too many kids out here with way too many guns you think well, you think they added by saying that they hope that the gun laws would change we need to get serious we need to get tough a little late for that a little late for that Prosecutors are reviewing the case and will decide whether to charge the 14 year old as an adult with first degree murder. Yes. Yes, he needs to be charged as an adult. He made an adult decision by killing his sister. That was premeditated, as I always say. It was premeditated. But because he's a 14 year old kid, he probably might be able to be saved. So they're going to come up with some deal and give him a price break because he's a 14 year old kid. And, and we don't want to see 14 year old kids in an adult prison setting. We don't want to see that. But what about the 15 year old kid? What, what he going to get? Well, he's going to be charged with attempted first degree murder and tampering with physical evidence, meaning that he threw the gun away. He's also being held in a mental health facility after making statements about harming himself. Okay, he's he's getting ready for an insanity plea. Yeah, let me, let me go in here and start acting crazy now so that when it comes time for the trial, I, I can get off on an insane plea. Before the shooting, the 14 year old poses on Snapchat with the weapon. Of course, it's cool. Social media is cool. I got a gun. Let me pose with it. It's cool. It's cool to point a gun at the camera. It's cool to, 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 to get in all sorts of gangster poses with guns. Guns is cool. It makes me look good. It makes me look badass. It makes you look weird, bro. It makes you look like a, a, a scared 14-year-old over here trying to get internet clout because you got a gun. That's what it looks. But it's also the same gun that he used to kill his sister, so that's that. The authorities added that people who knew the brothers told the police that the teens carry guns all the time and nothing was done. Again, ball being dropped by everybody. I mean, if the family kind of knew this, maybe. They say that obtaining a gun in Florida is real easy. And that people are either buying stolen ones or cheap ones off the street. Or they just taking them from unlocked vehicles. Now, let me stop right there. If you have a gun in a vehicle, why would you leave your vehicle unlocked? 
better yet, why would you leave your 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 gun accessible? Now, for me, I'm a I'm a I'm a concealed carry, and yes, I I don't leave my vehicle unlocked, but I don't leave my gun in my vehicle either. I'm just saying. But they also say earlier this year that both brothers was arrested for numerous car burglaries in the area. Tragic story out of Florida. I am so sorry to hear this for the family. Rest in peace to that young lady that didn't deserve it. She didn't deserve none of that. The 14-year-old the was just jealous and, and, and problematic. And just made and, and just made the whole family Christmas dynamic different going into the future. Imagine now going over your grandmother's house after after this happened in her yard. It would never be the same. You can't you can't even come back together after this. You can't. Will the teens be charged? What they gonna be charged with? That's that's hardly gonna be seen. As for the 14 year old, I would imagine that he's gonna get some type of deal. And as for the 15 year old, he's already getting ready for an insanity plea. So if there's any update to this in the future and they'll come back with it, I will definitely let you guys know. Tragic stories like this hurts, especially around Christmas time, a time where family's supposed to get together and enjoy one another and not get together and be jealous of one another. Kids and guns do not mix at all 14 year olds 15 year olds 10 year olds it don't mix it don't mix and how they was able to get them guns and keep them and have it on them at the time blows my mind drivers let's get your thoughts about this in the comments below subscribe to the channel for more uh and too deep like omar Make me wanna track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama wanna get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy, bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.